All right, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can activate the fly and walk navigation feature in Blender. And from my understanding, I'm not a gamer, but I believe this is similar to how, like in RPG games, how you uh, navigate through the game. Uh, I'm almost certain it works the same way, even though I don't play RPG games. All right, now you may be able to just press Shift. F, Shift F to activate uh, Fly. And when it does, you can just move your mouse around and it kind of floats around to in the direction of the mouse. And then you can use the mouse wheel. You can roll it forward and you start moving forward. Roll it forward again, you go a little bit faster. Roll it forward again, you go even faster. And eventually, you start going fast, really fast. And then as soon as you move backwards, it's to, it basically start, basically puts on the brakes. And if you go backwards again, you go backwards. But once you have it going forward, you can just kind of steer your way through your scene. Simple enough, and it, and it makes for good camera movements. Let me go back to the starting position, and I'll show you how to set it up just in case Shift F doesn't work. All right, and to get out of this, just right click, and it brings you back to your original camera position. All right, <clears throat> let's assume that if you press Shift F, it does nothing, because I believe uh, there is no shortcut attached to the fly command anymore. I don't, I'm not sure if there ever was. But anyway, if you want to apply a shift or a shortcut key to the fly command, how you go about doing that is just press like F3, pardon me, F3, not F4, F3 to bring up this menu and then just type FLY and you'll see fly navigation and if you right click on it, you can uh, right here change shortcut I, if you don't have a shortcut applied to it it will just say I'm just gonna go ahead and click remove shortcut now if I right click on it this is probably what you'll see assign shortcut left click on it and then press a key and I'm gonna press shift F and then now shift F is my uh, activation key for the fly navigation. I hope that makes sense. All right. Now, navigating through the scene is obviously very easy. Press Shift F, and then I can just navigate like I was just showing you a few minutes ago. But how do I turn this? How do I record the movement of this camera? That's the kicker. Because if I wanted to. Um, render this scene but re render out the movement of this camera how would I do that well I'm going to go ahead and set this to frame 1 I don't know why it was on 501 but it's probably just because it was part of an older project but what I need to do is go to keen right here and then change this to location rotation all right. Make sure this is set to add and replace. And then right here, change this to, or click this, it'll turn blue or red depending on your color scheme. And this right here is your record. And what that will do, that will start recording, but you gotta press play. So if I press play, and now if I press shift F now as the camera moves the camera is well let me stop for a second let me go ahead and select the camera so it will actually uh, do it correctly now if I press shift if I press play and then shift F now you can see it down there inserting keyframes on each frame to represent the location and rotation of uh, 
the camera and now I can go ahead and uh, navigate through the scene you know just using the mouse essentially at this point and I can of course use the scroll wheel to slow down speed up change directions and then just using the mouse itself to navigate through the scene and because it's recording it's recording the path that I'm taking which is exactly what I would want it to do in a situation like this this makes camera movement very simple and intuitive and also makes it look a little bit more natural in my opinion to a degree and then just when whenever I get done I could just uh, you know let me go back to where I was at originally and then just left click to stop or to stop the fly command and then press pause and then if I go back to the beginning I'm gonna go ahead and turn the record off now if I press play it will just play through my what I just done essentially so that's basically just a simple way to go ahead and create halfway decent camera movement and it works good for environments like this where in this case this being a bunker of course I kind of went through the wall right there I was in a hurry so it didn't look quite right but you know and unfortunately you're gonna have this dead spot at the beginning but you could always set the you know the render to start at a certain point or at the end here because at some point it uh, I get to right here and then it's just the cameras just doing nothing you can always set it to end there and then render that out but anyway I think some may find that useful I know I would have probably about three or four months ago because I could not find any good um, information on how to use fly the fly or walk command now the walk is a little bit different I prefer the fly let me uh, go ahead and uh, press F let me, I don't, can't remember, how do you activate the walk? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Edit preferences and then uh, uh, navigation. Oh, this is the difference. You just click on walk here. And now if I was to press, uh, let me make this smaller. Let me go ahead and go back to frame one and me delete all these keyframes and if I was to press shift F again now I'm in walk which the biggest difference between that I can tell from fly and walk is fly is quite a bit smoother where in walk is uh, a little bit more abrupt whenever you turn it's more like your head turning or like a person walking and stopping and turning it's it's just more abrupt but that's the biggest difference with uh, fly it's just smooth but as far as recording and uh, recording the camera movements it's the same and once you set the shortcut key to activate it it's the same but you just switch between fly and walk basically by going into preferences and then navigation choose walk or fly but I guess that's it if you have any questions let me know and I'll try to uh, answer your question later people